Hey everyone, we're going to look at uh, Regions Review number 3 for Geometry Common Core, um, which is on rigid transformations. So the first thing you're going to need is to remember some of the rules dealing with reflections and rotations and dilations and translations. So the first thing is, I'm going to put up here the rotation rules. So if you have a rotation in 90, that's going to take your point switch the order and then change the sign of the new one that comes first. Um, with a rotation of 180, that's going to flip each sign. So it's going to be negative x, negative y. Keep the order the same. And then with a rotation of 270, you switch the order and then you change the sign of the number that comes second. Um, with reflections, if we're doing a reflection, let's say with the y-axis, that's going to be negative x, y, the x value sign is going to change. Um, if you're doing a reflection on the x-axis, that's going to change the sign on the y value. And then if you do a reflection over the line y equals x, that's going to switch the order of the coordinates, but the signs that you start with stay the same. Okay. And then also remember that for a translation, whenever you take a translation, you are adding or subtracting A and B to whatever the X and Y values are. And then with the dilation, you're going to be multiplying by whatever the scale factor is. So you want to figure out that scale factor first. So um, we're going to look at a couple questions. I'm going to erase these, but feel free to pause it and write them down. That way you have them. So we're going to look right at number one. And this one asks, which transformation is the image of the triangle? not congruent. So we have three rigid transformations. And if it's a rigid transformation, it's going to keep the same size and shape as the original. So the rigid transformations are translation, reflection, and rotation. So the only one of the four that isn't a rigid transformation is dilation. So we're looking for that one. Um, that's going to be the one that's not congruent, and the one that says dilation is going to be D. So Now from there, we're going to look at one other question. Make sure I find it. Here we go. Number eight. So it talks about a graph, okay? Now a couple things you want to make sure you recognize. You don't have to necessarily put this on the paper, but this is the original image, okay? Sometimes they call it the pre-image. And then the new one is the image. So the one that ends up being after. Now they want to know if, first thing is, if the two are congruent, so in this case, if you look at those two, yes, they are congruent. But they want us to use the properties of rigid motion to explain your answer. So, next thing we want to do is use the ones we just talked about, translation, rotation, reflection, to prove that these are congruent. So, you want to make sure that you say which ones. So in this case, it's going to be a, ro a reflection. And the reflection is going to be over the y-axis. So you need to specify if it's a reflection, which line you're reflecting over. Okay. So like in this case, if I take A and reflect it over the y-axis, I go one, two, three spaces. So I go one, two, three on the other side. And then, 
you want to say, okay, well after that it shifts down. So it, then it's going to be a translation. Okay. And in this case, it's going to be one, two, one, two, three down, which would be a translation of zero, negative three. Or you could say a translation down three for the, every point in the image. Okay. So when you see these questions where it's asking for an explanation, in the case of reflection, specify the line. Translation, you want to specify the movement, the directions, and which way you're going. And then if it's a rotation, if we have a rotation, you want to say something like rotation of, and then however many degrees, 90, 180, but you need to specify the degree value.